Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome back to your channel. Today, we have a solar powered irrigation system for our little greenhouse we're building. Let me go ahead and say that we're not sponsored by this in any way. We bought this with our own money, but we do have uh, a link down in the description if you want to check them out, if you want to buy one of these. We'll leave the link down there for you to check them out. <clears throat> but anyway, I did cut the tape, but I haven't opened it yet. We got the, uh, we keep the wind from blowing everything. We have a, uh, I guess a, a user's manual, I guess. I mean, it's pretty, pretty basic. It's in English and in Spanish. We'll put that under there for the wind to blow a little bit. We got a little solar panel. That's pretty cool. I think it's, uh, I want to say this is like 10 watts. I'm not real sure. I'm not real sure or not, I'll have to look at it, but I think it's like 10 watts. Right here is the control, the little, the main brain for it, I guess, what you want to call it. Let's see here. And then plug it in a little bag. Pretty cool. It's a uh, solar panel, it's 18 volts, 10 watts, battery. It has a battery inside it. Uh, it, it will produce, I mean, it will flow two liters per minute. Um, see what else? It's got the model number on it, which is BSV-IC006, solar automatic watering system. I think there's like a, I think there's like an anchor brand or something like that. But this is like pretty much the same thing, it's like a generic version of it. Well, it can't be too generic because it costs us so much. It might be the same one. Then we have the cables here. And this right here is uh, what this is, is you hook it to the box and you put it down in your water tank and it tells the, like if it runs out of water, it'll quit pumping. That way it don't burn your pump up. And they give you plenty of cord. It looks like they give you tons of cord. Well, let's see. That's probably at least 20, 30 feet of it here. I'd say, yeah, that's a pretty good bit. So I mean, that give us, we need that so we can put the barrel further away from, you know, wherever we need to put the barrel. Let's put it kind of close, but not really close. All right, and here is the, this is the, the pump line, the inlet line. Show much of this stuff they gave me. Uh, this right here is, this right here is what really determines how far you can put the tank away from your, your thing and all. So we may be able to, I was kind of hoping to put the, the control board, like right in the middle right there. So I was kind of hoping for. So we'll put that back there. We'll install it too. And this right here will go back and over and down into the barrel. That's the inlet. All right, here is tons of little small pipe. This right here is what, you know, it goes into each little container to water them with. And you cut it as you need to. You run it, cut it, and they give you tons of parts like here right here's the little stakes the dripper stakes you stick in the ground and you just hook the water to right there you just plug the water line onto it and it kind of just drips down and goes into the roots i'll show you how all that goes a little tease where you cut the lines and stuff you got two bags of those should be 30 should be a total of 30 of these this thing will water up to 30 different ones or should i mean that's what it says on the package anyway so there's three packs of those four packs of those Five packs of those. Okay, that's trash, that's trash. More line. Man, I give you plenty of tubing. Yeah. You can run that stuff from here to there. And here's the bracket for the solar panel. Um, we'll mount that. I'm hoping I can kind of mount it up here on the eave up here. Okay. And right here is more fittings. Okay, right here's the little filter that goes on this that you stick down the tank so it can't suck trash up in it. And then a couple of tees and fittings for for that. So, and then you got some bolts right here. I guess that would be for the solar panel. Anyway, that's what I'll come in it. So, 
we'll get to hooking it up and we'll we'll show you how it works. We'll try to get everything installed today to make sure it works. solar into it your water level and then you got an inlet and outlet that's pretty much it i think that's a on off button which it is charged a little bit cool. that thing have a battery in it yeah that way it does it overnight that's up here. okay now the solar <coughs> we'll just come down What I'm trying to do is get it to, this right here will curl up down in there. And I want it to stay straight, which it won't do this flexible pipe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix it. I had a electric fence tape uh, post and I broke it. And it'll fit right in there. Just like that. I'll probably trim it just a little bit more. Um, to get the cap on it. So, I can do it like that, maybe. I like her to Okay, thank you, Bob. So, what I want to do is fix this somewhere or another to it. Close to the bottom, not right at the bottom, but close to the bottom. <clears throat> that way, it's not curled up, not getting no water. like that, that'd be, that'd be perfectly fine. And then I can run this up here like that and put another one right here. There's something to hold that pipe down in there straight. So I put it down in there and it, it curled up back in there. And see now this, we'll hold it straight in there now and I can still put the cap on it, just like that. All right, now this right here has to go in there also. And this is what tells it when it's out of water to quit pumping. I use this, I, I broke this end off up where the, you know, the metal stake is. And here's the, the filter that I'm gonna drop down there. And here's the two little things that register the water. When these don't, both of these gotta detect water, it'll shut the pump off. There's gotta be at least this much water in the barrel for it to work properly. So, I just kind of rigged it up on a stick to hold it down in the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is carefully put it down in here. There's a solar hooked up to it. And the solar's hooked up. We have the, the water level hooked up. And we have the inlet, the pump side of it hooked up. So now, what we're gonna do, 
Just take that off. This thing come with water in it. They must have like pre-primed it or something. But anyway, uh, now what we're gonna do is come off and tee the lines around and uh, hook up the little drippers. Placed on these little stakes, like this all the way up on there like that. And you put the stake right here, just kind of close to the roots like that. Push it down there, about like that right there. I'll just tee together from this point on all out through here. Let's go here. Right there. And this one here. It's okay. Poke it right down there. It's like that. What you doing? Brooming. Brooming. Press you guys pedal? Yeah. Okay. Got it set to where it's going to water for 10 minutes every day, once a day. So we'll have to see how it does. I mean, so far, you can see. I mean, it's dripping. It'll drip like that for 10 minutes, once at one time a day. But so it's the tea. But one thing that we also learned is these little teas right here, about every one of these teas will leak. So I have to cut the lines to where the tea is inside the bucket also. That way it's leaking inside the bucket instead of leaking out on the ground. Uh, I'll try to come up with something a little better than that, but I mean, it still works. It's still, it isn't affecting it in any way, you know? I mean, it's not leak, it's not wasting the water. All of them are watering. So we got seven, nine, nine, 18 buckets right now being watered by this thing. It's kind of an overview of what we've done. We put the solar panel up outside. I angled that up. We run the wire up around the top and down and then down to the control box. And it just screws right onto the control box right here. All right, here's the back side of it. You got a, a, a line going in right here. That's inlet and that's outlet. 
Like I said, the outlet side of here, I put that anti-siphon on. I really don't really need it because my water source is lower. But then at the bottom of it, I just bend it over and zip tie it to keep it from leaking. Then put a T on it. Actually, two T's right here. One goes that way, and one goes that way. All right. And then the line goes over to each bucket. Right there. Right there. Each bucket's got a little hose in it. But I cut these like short enough to make sure that it stays inside the bucket. See, because the tea is dripping right there. Uh, just cheap teas, I guess. I'm not sure. I don't know. But uh, we'll see. But it is water in the buckets. That's all that matters. All right. And then right here, I have this 55-gallon uh, drum that I had extra. I took the center of it out right here and run the line down in there. And you've seen how I put it on the fence stake. And we filled it full of water. It's up to here. So... Um, it will be hooked to a tote Eventually, you know once we get the uh, the gutters and all that crap on here that we're gonna put a couple two totes over here on this side And use it just for this system here if it works good um, But right now this right here should last a pretty good long time the way it works. So we'll see Oh My paper plants All right guys, here's the other side tomato plants. It's uh that's got a dripper in each one, and like I said, I left it short enough where the T is inside the bucket also. The, this, the last one don't have to have T, of course, but the T's are all inside the bucket. That way, when they do leak, it'll leak in the dirt too. But it doesn't affect it really like the flow or anything. It just barely drips out of the T. Just enough that I don't want it running in the ground. I'd rather have it running in the bucket instead of wasting it. So, anyway, see, like right here is a good example of how short that one is. So, if that one leaks, it's going to drip right in the bucket anyway. So, anyway, there's those. We're gonna test this and see how accurate it is. We're gonna, I'm gonna put it on for 15 minutes and we're gonna time it and see how long it actually drips water out. So, I can see it. Okay, about 15 minutes. Starting. I can't really see it, it's right there. Okay, it's, it's you working. You can hear it dripping. Yeah. All right. Time's up. Been on 15 minutes, so. Yeah, and it cut off, too, so. It's accurate, so. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this irrigation system. It is working. It's on. It's working. Uh, solar panel's up. It's charging. I've got it set, like I said, to water for 10 minutes one time a day. It's working. It's watering all 18 buckets. For right now, this thing seems to be doing its job. So, I mean, I'll let you know. We'll do an update on it eventually and let everybody know how it's going and everything. But if you guys haven't done so yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. This thing appears to be working great, guys. I mean, it's it seems to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. One time a day for 10 minutes a day. We'll see how it goes. I'll do an update. Probably in about a week. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, hit that like and subscribe. Thank you. Good job. I'm watching Skype. There you go. Good job.